Hello crafters, it's me Elise here with Crafting with Creepsakes and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to apply the tack method to your acrylic blanks. But before I get started, let me just say that any companies and or products that I mentioned throughout this tutorial, I am not a paid affiliate. This is all just personal product that I like to use while crafting. So now that I got that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be working with a two inch blank that you can get on zindi.com. I will um, post everything that I mentioned throughout this tutorial in the description box below. So again, if this is a Zindi two inch blank, no hole. And I'm going to use Navy Yaya's glitter. And I'm also going to use for the tack medium, it's fairy tale glitter, fairy magic adhesive. Isn't this a really cute bottle? Look at how pretty that is. I love their packaging. Super adorable. Okay. Um, you're also going to need a brush and it needs to be wet. And you are going to use very, very, very little amount of tack medium. You do not need a lot a little goes a long way. Like just a little bit, a dot. That's all you need. Okay. And then I'm just going to take this here and I'm going to apply it to my keychain. And you don't want it to be streaky and you don't want it to pull. And you're going to keep stroking your acrylic until you're um, until you start to feel resistance from the tacky medium. But, you know, make sure you don't leave any streaks because they can show up when it's, um, when it's dry. Even though it's dry, it does have some tackiness to it. So I just go over it until I start to feel resistance. Like so. This is a really cool method. It, I mean, it just, it really changes the way glitter looks. I mean, we're, we're so used to having that sparkle, but in this case with the tack method, I feel like it turns the glitter into um, almost like a foil. And it's really cool. I mean, you can use all kinds of glitter. This is not just only for holographic glitter. You can use metallic glitter. I've um, I've been told by other crafters that they've tried it with chunky glitter. Um, you can use holographic dust. I mean, I mean, it's just the possibilities are endless on this. Okay, so I'm starting to feel some tacky or resistance. I'm going to step aside and use my heat gun to help dry the medium quicker. Okay, I will be right back. Okay, and I'm back. So pretty much what I did is I just took my heat gun and I just applied a little bit of heat. This just helps the tack medium dry quicker and it does look dry, but to the touch, it's really tacky and that's what you want. So now that you have this step done, you're now going to take your glitter and I'm just using a tea strainer here and you're going to use very, very little amount of glitter. You do not need a lot for this. A little goes a long way with this tack method. It's, it's, it's awesome. So I'm just going to apply very little amount and I'll show you how much, like, I mean, just a little bit. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. I mean, it's, it's crazy how much goes in there. It's very little. And I'm just going to pat it and just sprinkle it on. I'm go ahead and use this here. And I'm just gonna add a little bit. You don't use much. You don't need to drench your blank in glitter. Just want enough like a light coverage. <clears throat> I don't want to just 
just don't need too much. <clears throat> and I guess I'm just using my cap because it's easy for me to control how much comes out. Yes. Okay. And I'm literally putting like just a little bit at a time. I feel like I have enough good coverage here. And I'll show you what this coverage looks like as soon as I'm done. Okay. It's really, really light coverage. Very, very light. As you guys can see. So now that you've applied this step, we're now going to, all you're going to do is just rub the glitter and it literally smoothed out on its own. It's incredible how smooth the glitter feels once it's rubbed on. I mean, amazing. And just rub on it until you don't feel any more of that glitter, the roughness of the glitter. See, it's, I mean, it's, it happens. It just changes so quickly. I'm just kind of rubbing off the sides a little bit. And let's see. And there you have this beautiful, like, foil metallic look now. You don't have, like, that glittery, sparkly look. It's just awesome. This is great. So now that you've, once you finish this step, you're going to want to seal this. And I just basically use Mod Podge Sealer. And I'll coat it very lightly, about two to three times. And, um, but I do let each individual coat dry before I apply the next coat. And then once it's sealed, you're ready to add your UV resin and decals. So let me go ahead and get set up for that process and I will be right back. Okay, and I'm back. So I already had a, um, an acrylic ready to go and this is already sealed. And what you're seeing here is Fairy Tale Glitter Twilight Dawn. It's a holographic dust. So this is what I used for this heart here. And it's also a two inch with a hole and you can get it on zindi.com. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. It's just gorgeous. So this is already sealed. This has two light coats and I let each coat dry individually and then um, and then I would apply the next one. So it, this is what it looks like here. Okay, so completely sealed and now it's time to apply the UV resin. So let me just go ahead and sit down, get situated. And you're just going to apply small amounts of UV resin. And you're just going to work your UV resin around. You don't need a lot. A little goes a long way. It's easier to add than it is to attract, um, subtract. So dot, dot, not a lot. Don't need much. Okay. It's just, oh, I love this, this holographic dust. It's just stunning. Now, if you do get some streaks, I wouldn't worry too much about the little streaks because UV resin tends to hide, or even epoxy tends to hide the little blemishes, and you won't see the streaks. And I'll show you an example once this is in the UV light curing. So let me just, I need to sit down for a second, sorry. And I just want to make sure that it's an even coat. Now I can still add some more. I'm just adding little dots to where I see waves. So if you see waves in your UV resin, you just want to add a little bit. That's just That just means that your UV resin is uneven. Okay. 
Okay. And I think we're looking, oh, let's see, way right here, just a little bit. I'm just applying a little bit of dots. Just kind of blending that new dot that I added into the UV resin. Okay, let's go ahead and apply some heat. Get all those little bubbles out. And I see a little dry spots. Like so. Just kind of touching up here before I apply it to the UV lamp. Um, okay, that looks good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick. I know to you it may look wavy, but it's not. And that's just crazy gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait to see it after it's cured. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in my Melody Susie UV lamp for 180 seconds. And then once it cures, I'll apply my decal. And when it's cured, let me show you another blank that I worked on here. This is also from Zindi. It's a two inch tooth acrylic. Now this one here had a huge streak. I went a little too heavy on the tack medium, but once I applied the UV resin, you can't even see it anymore. It's completely gone, but I promise you there was a streak there. It got me really nervous, <laughs> but I just decided, you know what, let's see what happens. Isn't that gorgeous? This was fairy tale glitter, but I used their let me see where can I see if I can find it here. Sorry guys, give me one second. It's new moon, twilight new moon. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Oh, it's so beautiful. And then I used a metallic fine glitter on this one. And that was Scarlet by Yaya's glitter. So it gives it a foil look. I think it does. That's what the metal or the tack method does. It gives it like a metallic foil look. It's a really cool concept. So once you apply your first layer of UV resin and it's cured, that's when you want to go ahead and apply your vinyl work. And then once you apply your vinyl work, you're going to add your last coat of UV resin and you are completely done. Okay, so my blank is cured. This is the first coat of UV resin. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, and now you want to apply your vinyl work. So I already have my vinyl weeded. And I'm just going to keep it simple. about it because I know the UV resin will hide it. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply my last coat of UV resin. Let me show you how much I start off with, like a dime size. And I'm just going to spread the last coat. lint here and applying a little bit more okay 
And I know I'm a little quiet, sorry. I'm uh, concentrating here. I'm gonna add a little bit of heat to it. Oops, if I can get this. Okay. And I did get some glitter on the skull, but I'm not worried about that right now. And the reason why it's loose here is because I have the loose glitter here and I touched the my silicone brush. So that's where the loose glitter on the skull is coming from. And I want to say it looks, I see a wave right here. And that's all I see. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this under my UV lamp and I will be right back and show you the final result. All right guys, I'll be right back. All right crafters, here's the final results of the last coat of UV resin. It just really makes this tack method pop. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So pretty. There was one thing that I failed to mention and it was prepping your blank. You want to use a spray paint that's closest to the glitter that you're going to be working with. I completely spaced on that. My apologies. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. Also, if you have a moment, please stop by and visit our Crafting with Creepsakes Facebook page and show us your awesome, cool little um, you know designs or you know whatever it is you're working on and we always like to go and share what we're working on it's a really fun group and we're all about positivity and just giving support when it comes to crafting so if you have a moment uh, stop by and pay a visit and say hello and share your crafts with us we love to see what everybody's working on thank you so much for watching this tutorial we really appreciate it take care guys and happy crafting